Hey guys. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Today I will tell you, history of, George Washington Bridge, located in New York City. So move toward my today's video. The George Washington Bridge, an iconic landmark, connecting New York City with Fort Lee, New Jersey, holds a rich and significant history, from its conception to its status. As a symbol of engineering prowess, here is a complete history of, the George Washington Bridge, conception and design. In the early 20th century, the need for a bridge, to connect Manhattan, with New Jersey became apparent, due to increased automobile traffic, and the growing population, on both sides of the Hudson River. The idea for the bridge, was conceived by, the Port of New York Authority, now known as the Port Authority of New York, and New Jersey, in the 1920s. Architect Cass Gilbert, was commissioned to design the bridge. And engineer Othmar Amon, was appointed as the chief engineer, for the project, Towers Height. The towers of the George Washington Bridge, located at each end of the span, stand at an impressive height of, 604 feet, or 184 meters, above the Hudson River. These towering structures, are an iconic feature of the bridge, and contribute to its grandeur, and visual impact. The height of the towers, is measured from the base, to the top of the decorative finials, that adorn the pinnacle of each tower. The tower's significant height, allows the bridge's suspension cables, to be anchored and suspended at a proper elevation, ensuring the stability, and structural integrity of the bridge. The tower height of the George Washington Bridge, combined with its long span, and striking appearance, makes it one of the most recognizable, and admired landmarks, in the New York City metropolitan area. Construction. Construction of the George Washington Bridge, began on, September 21, 1927. The bridge was designed, to accommodate both vehicular, and pedestrian traffic. With separate upper and lower levels. The main span of the bridge measures, 3,500 feet, or 1,067 meters. Making it the longest suspension bridge, in the world at the time of its completion. The bridge was constructed using, steel cables and towers, with a distinctive, Art Deco architectural style. Steel, the George Washington Bridge, one of the world's largest suspension bridges, required a substantial amount of steel, for its construction. While the exact quantity of steel used, can vary depending on different sources, and estimates, it is generally reported that, approximately 88,000 tons, or 80,000 metric tons, of steel were used, in building the bridge. The steel components, of the George Washington Bridge, include, the towers, cables, roadway, and other structural elements. Concrete. The construction of the George Washington Bridge, involved the use of, a significant amount of concrete, to provide stability and support, to various structural elements. While the exact quantity of concrete used, can vary depending on different sources, and estimates, it is generally reported that, approximately 600,000 cubic yards, or 458,705 cubic meters of concrete, were used in building the bridge. Concrete was used extensively, in the construction of the bridge's piers, anchorages, and roadway deck. Stone. The George Washington Bridge, primarily consists of steel, concrete, and other materials. And the use of stone in its construction, is limited primarily to architectural elements. The exact quantity of stone, used in the construction of, the George Washington Bridge is relatively minimal, compared to steel, and concrete. However, certain decorative elements, and cladding feature stones. In the case of the George Washington Bridge, stone was used mainly for, architectural purposes to enhance, the aesthetic appeal of the bridge. Cables. The construction of, the George Washington Bridge, involved the use of a significant amount of cables, to support the bridge's structure, and carry the weight of the roadway deck. The bridge's suspension cables, are crucial components, that provide the necessary strength and stability. While the exact length, and quantity of cables used can vary. It is estimated that, approximately 40,000 miles, or 64,000 kilometers of steel wire, were used in the construction of, the George Washington Bridge. Electrical wiring. The bridge also required, an extensive electrical system for lighting, signaling, and communication purposes. Electrical wiring was used, to power the bridge's lighting fixtures, traffic signals, and other electrical components. Completion and inauguration. The George Washington Bridge, was completed and opened to the public on, October 25, 1931. The inauguration ceremony, was attended by thousands of people. Including, President Herbert Hoover, who pressed a button in Washington, D.C., to activate the bridge's lights remotely.
Impact and Significance The George Washington Bridge quickly became a vital transportation link, facilitating trade, commuting, and travel between New York City and New Jersey. Its construction led to significant urban development in both Manhattan and Fort Lee, as it provided easier access to the city for commuters and businesses. The bridge's monumental size and elegant design made it an architectural and engineering marvel, garnering international acclaim, expansion and modernization. Over the years, the bridge has undergone several expansions and modernization efforts to accommodate increasing traffic demands. In 1962, a lower level of the bridge was added, increasing its capacity to handle more vehicles. Additional improvements have been made to enhance safety, reduce congestion, and improve the overall efficiency of the bridge. Today, the George Washington Bridge stands as a symbol of connectivity and achievement. It serves as a crucial transportation artery, carrying millions of vehicles and pedestrians annually. Its commanding presence on the Hudson River has made it an iconic landmark of New York City's skyline. As one of the world's busiest bridges, the George Washington Bridge continues to play a vital role in facilitating trade, fostering economic growth, and connecting communities on both sides of the Hudson River. It stands as a testament to human ingenuity, engineering excellence, and the power of visionary infrastructure projects. If this video is helpful for you, then like and share my video and subscribe my YouTube channel.